Hey, Jonathan. Yeah. When are you going to be the new face of Coca Cola? <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Whoa, would they is, never want me to do that. This is something else I was thinking about the other day while I was enjoying a, a crisp water. I was thinking to myself, you know what Jonathan needs to do? You know what I'm sick of, personally? Jonathan Holmes not being the new face of Coca-Cola and Coca-Cola branded products. My face isn't always the worst, but it sometimes <laughs> is. But sure. when it is, it does a bang-up job. Yeah, oh, sometimes. I was watching, accidentally saw a little bit of something with me in it, and I was like, oh, gross. I had, like, this big, like, blotchy mark on my chin, and my nose is too short, and my cheeks are too big, and I look tired, and I'm bald, and just, ugh. Every once in a while from the front, you, I look all right. But... You look like a puddle of coke. <laughs> It's perfect. That also is blotchy and brown, and has big ears, and is that... bald. There's, there's no hair in Coke, uh, unless you drink it the way I do. <laughs> the uh, Clarence Thomas pubic hair Coke, you remember that one? That's a story. So is that an I'm actual not... flavor? <laughs> <laughs> he uh, allegedly put a pubic hair on a Coke to hit on a girl once. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> Look what I can do, ladies. <laughs> yeah. The story just seems so ridiculous on the basis of anybody thinking anyone would ever find that sexually, you know, yeah. attractive at all. Or let alone, yeah. I mean, it just doesn't... The message it sends is uh, you got, uh, you know, a stinky Coke, maybe. <laughs> be some food stink on there. That's it. It's yeah. the only Get. Mind you, how smelly is one pube gonna be? It's a good question. That's that's a good challenge. That's, <laughs> if, if we we could do a competition with the pod to well, listeners called "How Stinky Is Your Pube," where it doesn't seem like a very effective. I mean, like they, you. You'd have to do it in front of them. I mean, it's not something you could surprise them with. Otherwise, you know, they just happen upon the can and it's like, oh, look, a can of Coke with a pube on it. It's not, oh, look, a can of Coke with his pube on it. Yeah, I just want it. Daniel pube. You know? you'd, sure. have to, you'd have to wait till they, like, pick up the Coke and look at it and then they go, oh, there's a pube on this. And then you have to jump out the bushes and go, ha ha, joke's on Wait, you. That'd be God forbid. Pube. God forbid, you put the pube on the can, she comes there, she finds it, she's like, oh my god, who is this? You know, I and then it. she, yeah. yeah, exactly, you yeah. know, you gotta be ready to get in there, Dave down the hall could be scooping up on that yeah. shit, be you like, that's my pube, baby, how do you like that? And then she'll have to go around like Prince Charming and match the pube to the mom's pubis <laughs> to, to find which one fits. And then the ugly stepsisters will come in and say, Oh no, get a look at this fanny and put it on that. <laughs> or, or, or something. Um, but anyway, if you yes. do, if, if listeners do want to um, uh, get one pube off themselves and then just make it as smelly as possible, um, you know, just dip it in stuff, run it along things. Just, I want one pube and I want to see how smelly it is and I would like that mail to Jonathan. No. And so, <laughs> you know. some, someone's got to verify it. Then what, do I have to give them a prize after that, too? Just uh, to the... Yeah, lifetime supply of Coca-Cola, using, <laughs> using your new inside track with Coke. I really am not the new face of Coca-Cola. I no. wish I were. It would be a fun job. I know. That's why I'm going to do it for you, because I'm going to make your dreams come true, Jonathan. <laughs> You're, you're I'm gonna make you a star. I am gonna be in show business. It's gonna be great. Um, yeah, you're gonna be the new face of Coca-Cola, Grandpa Cola. <laughs> <laughs> am I made of cola? Do um, I have like a uh, pop bottle for a body sort of thing, and just my head popping out? No, but you do have a long grey beard that goes down to your navel. And Bermuda shorts with new kids on the block logos on them. That's not what people want. That's not a mainstream stick. success. No. You'll have hmm? a walking stick with with cola printed like written on it in pen. <laughs> That's not, and, and not the deluxe. Beard, in the big grey beard, we will get like metal like cola bottle caps and just push them all in so they're all in there. And then you can shake your head and go, "Ooh, it's cola snow, kids!" And then 
<laughs> the bottle caps just lit on the floor and we walk off. It's someone else's <laughs> problem now. You just walk away from it. From Just from walk away. Now. Just walk away. <laughs> give your polar bottle caps. And we will give you safe passage through the wasteland. Uh, is that fit a Far Cry? What is going on now? Have one full day to decide. Just work your way. <laughs> what, is, what is that from? Every time someone says walk away, um, I'd like a Pavlovan response, I have to be the Lord Humongous from Road Warrior. Oh, yeah, that guy's huge. He's, oh, he's humongous. Yeah, that's great. By name <laughs> and nature. Anyway, Grandpa Cola. Um, I've set this whole thing up to convince Coca-Cola that we're worth it. Because don't worry, me and Conrad are going to be riding on your coattails. Um, you won't be doing this alone. School plays. Okay? Now, I'm sure you remember as kids. I know I did. At school, people would come in to do plays to teach us about things. Like saying no to the drugs. Or uh... saying no to some other drugs. I, yeah. I, I am starting a phone carpeting marketing campaign where I phone up all the local schools in Boston and because, you know, we don't want you travelling, Jonathan. We don't want to put you about you're the star, you're the talent. I mean, phoning up all the local schools in Boston and saying, I have got, for your little shit munchers, a great play to entertain them and teach them about healthy lifestyle choices. About drinking healthy for good kidneys and responsible <laughs> urine. That's not... Coca-Cola is pretty bad for you, though. It would be lies. They don't know that. <laughs> Therefore, they it's don't, okay. They don't yeah. know that. More well, and, and Coca-Cola, they produce all sorts of products. They also own, I think, Dasani Water and a few other brands. So we could, you know, push it initially as a water thing and say, you know, hydration, health, and then slide in the other thing. Exactly. See, they, if we put the Dasani on a table next to a bottle of Coke and say, mmm, this is delicious and nutritious and good for you, and if you drink it, you won't get diabetes, the adults will think we're talking about the water. The kids will know we're talking about the delicious, crisp taste of, of, of tasty Coca-Cola. Mm. I so, don't even like Coca-Cola. I, I wouldn't mind just being on billboards, but I have to talk. I'm sorry. Will you not undermine this campaign? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, just being honest. So anyway, once we've convinced the... Don't be honest. That's the last thing Coca-Cola wants. All right, once we've organized the, the play, we get the kids pumped up by playing the heat is on, da -da 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 -da, the heat is on, except we've rewrote the lyrics to go, the Coca-Cola is on. <laughs> I love that song. Glenn Fry. The Coca-Cola a... is on. Oh, drink it up, drink it up. <laughs> me, That's a great song. Beverly Hills Cop 2, yeah. Mm, yeah, sorry. Beverly Hills Cop 2. Da -da 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 -da, that plays as well. It's a great song. Sorry, yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Me and Conrad come out. Conrad's dressed all in blue. I'm dressed all in red. Um, T-shirts and shorts and baseball caps on backwards. And we come out and we're like, yo, 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 da kids. We are a pair of cool bros like you see in your rap videos. And we're here to tell you about being healthy and drinking good <laughs> Drinking good Coca-Cola products. For make you live for a long time. About yep. adult mom and dad, so you can watch TV. <laughs> that's you, right. mm, <laughs> you guys are not, no offense, and I, I'm right up there with you. But the three of us are not who kids want to be at all. Maybe Conrad a little. Come on, Jonathan. Conrad's who is gotta... hipper than we? <laughs> Conrad is... A dying sack of shit! We've got our caps on backwards! <laughs> we don't have the look that's hot right now. Any of us. We've got our caps on backwards! Uh, uh, sorry, and I'm going uh, before I say things. So that is attitude for the youth. Okay. Bro. Take a chill, comprende? See? I can do all the talking. So anyway, hey, yeah, we're going to do that. And then Conrad says, 
But you know what? I heard some people say that Coke <laughs> Coca Cola is bad for you. And then I say, oh no, that's fucking lies. <laughs> Kids, don't listen to them, people. They're probably Democrats and African Americans. And that's what? that's when Jonathan, you come on stage, he goes, boom, 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 it's Grandpa Cola. <laughs> He's got a beard with coke in it. Yeah, yeah, come and drink his beard. Drink Grandpa Cola's beard. <laughs> oh, no out. one wants to drink a beard. No one. No you, one. You come out with your big long beards and you do kids on the block Bermuda shorts. Nothing else. And you stick. And then you say, remember kids, <laughs> listen to your cool dude Grandpa Cola when he says that if there are kids in your class who are ethnic minorities... Pick on them. The other white kids will be your friends. And let's face it, they've got the money. And then we're like, yo, 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 the white kids got some money. Boom, ba doom, boom, ba doom. Look at Grandpa Cola. Listen to everything he tells you. And I'll tell you what, those gays shouldn't marry either. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what Grandpa Cola says. Boom, 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 boom. Let's treat people who are different minorities different from us. Boom, 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 boom. Drink Coke. <laughs> <laughs> so my voice is like, oh, I don't know if you guys are here. Like that sort of a thing. I don't like the gays. And that's, it's kind of a Grady from, uh, from Fran Sanford and Sonic. Except that's racist and homophobic. This is a slam dunk. I don't see, I don't see how this could possibly yeah. be rejected. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the Hispanics shouldn't get the vote. That's another thing you'll say. Just to, just to promote the idea of Coca-Cola. <laughs> The uh, only knows. reason Romney lost was because of the black vote. Fraudulent black vote, that is. Let's hear it for voter ID, kids. Boom, ba ba boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom. Let's hear it for voter ID, you fool. Come on, motherfucker, let's hear it for the voter ID. Drink cups. Swearing at the kids to a to a, a hip hop beat or is that jungle beat? What kind of beat is uh, boom 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 boom? What is what is that? It, it's just me and Conrad saying boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's not swearing. It, it's it's not swear. We're not swearing at the kids. We're being passionate towards the children. Mm, uh, that still doesn't sound that great. Right? So uh, basically, we need you up there, Jonathan, with a beard. Um, just saying all of those things that I just told you to say. Ah, uh, it's not the worst idea you've had. It's pretty. For me. Good. It's pretty fucking good. All you've got to do is go up there and and just disenfranchise uh, basically anyone who isn't a white middle class American. With the poor as well. We want to really tarnish the poor. What would we say about them? The, the, the... Uh, they lie. <laughs> They're lazy. Uh, they voted for the wrong man, um, and and drink coke. <laughs> it, it, we, we we just the more the more like demographics we keep disenfranchised, uh, the more they're gonna drink coke. Market research has, has shown us this. This is yeah. what this is what the CEOs of of of, of all the soft drink companies are telling me, really. Is uh, that if you insult everyone other than the thirty percent of the, even less than that? I think that a Caucasians, middle class Caucasians, make up like twenty percent of the population, or less than that now. I mean, it's not the majority, Jim. When you make everyone else mad, you only focus on who's middle be class. Mad? <laughs> All the people that we called lazy and liars and no. said they shouldn't be allowed to get married. Why, why, why would they be mad? I we, don't understand. We're putting on a show specifically to entertain them. These these plays are going to be mostly Every... these plays are mostly going to be in like like sub, like urban um, centers, like like inner city stuff. <laughs> um, you know, very impoverished, uh, huge, hugely diverse crowd. Because we want to reach as many demographics as possible, so it's going to be hugely diverse. I'm going to invite the parents of the school's most violent children. Um, to watch the play, um, just because maybe it'll help them connect with their, their violent children in a way that they've always wanted to. And when they see you up there on stage, Jonathan, uh, half naked and belittling everything um, that them and their families go through on a daily basis. 
this. I think we're going to bring people together. I yeah. Think, yeah, this is good. We're going to unite them. <sighs> they, they might just laugh at us and hurt us verbally, you know, with insults and stuff. Uh, nothing like a good crowd response. But we might get physically harmed, for sure. I mean, bad. Because uh, it's not that... It's uh, it's not clear that we're joking. Oh no, my cat is barking at my dog. I'm sorry. Your, your cat is barking at your dog. Yeah, it's weird. They're they're weird. That's that's horrific. <laughs> so anyway, oh, anyway, yeah. Grandpa Cola. The Grandpa new, Cola. The new face. The hip. The hip new face. For for a a a, a life living American public. It's uh no. It's pretty good. 